If there's one accessory your camera might be missing that you would definitely benefit from having, it is a hand strap. And so in this video, we're going to talk about the Peak Design Micro Clutch and why you might want to pick one of these up for your mirrorless camera. Now for full disclosure, Peak Design did send me the Micro Clutch to do a review on. Though no money change hands here, they do not get any input into this video, nor do they get to see it before I post it, though I do get to keep the Micro Clutch as an FYI. So at its most basic form, the Micro Clutch is really a smaller hand strap that is designed for the DSLR or mirrorless camera bodies that you would typically find today. Probably the biggest difference between this and something like Peak Design's clutch hand strap is that while the clutch is designed to really fit your entire hand, the micro clutch is really designed for sort of a two or three finger design as you can see right here. So something that still allows you to access the shutter button if you need to, something that can still let your pinky and or your thumb access the different buttons and dials as you need to, but still also be able to hold your camera nice and securely within your hands. Now I may also be able to fit maybe three fingers in here to still have my thumb and index finger free and available to use. So as you can see just for a quick example, I'm using this right now with the Sony a7 IV and the 20mm f1.8 G lens. As you can see, this is not going anywhere, very nice and secure, so certainly something you can trust and use on your camera and that will hold up depending on the size and weight of your kit. Now this does have a very comfortable hand strap overall. I've easily been shooting with this for the past week or so with no issues of any sort of hand fatigue or getting tired and having to remove my hand. It is also of course adjustable, so you can make that grip for your hand and the fingers you have within it a bit looser or a bit tighter depending on what your preference is. Now the other interesting thing to note here is the fact that I'm actually using the strap with my camera's native strap mounts or eye rings or whatever you want to call them. And even though this does come with a separate eye ring you can use, this will probably work with your camera's main strap mounts without you needing to do anything, which is very helpful. Now the bottom of the micro clutch is actually where some of the more innovative design and engineering with this comes into play. Basically you have two different versions of the micro clutch and its base plate that you can choose from. The one I have here and that you would use for I would say most of any Sony mirrorless body is the L plate, which is designed to basically fit any camera that has a more extended grip and to be able to sort of cover that footprint. The other option you do have is an eye plate design that works with something maybe more like a point and shoot or range finder and just generally cameras that have a less pronounced grip. So basically depending on your camera's body design you do have a model of the micro clutch that should suit its needs. Now this plate design is ultimately what makes the micro clutch so secure as you saw earlier when we were demonstrating that. The way this essentially works with the base plate is the fact that you have a little tool here on the bottom that you can just pick right out. So if we wanted to remove the micro clutch to be able to change your battery or remove its SD card for any cameras that have that located along the bottom, basically you just take this little wrench tool that it comes with, loosen the base plate there as you see right here. And once you've done that, the micro clutch essentially just slides right off and will allow you to access the bottom of your camera as you need to. So then of course to reattach it, you can just pop it right into that quarter 20 mount as we did before, slide it right back onto where it was, make sure everything is good to go and then tighten it using that same wrench tool as you would have done before. Then of course, as you can see, the wrench tool, which is right here, is magnetic and it fits right back within the main design of the micro clutch and you're good to go. Also worth noting, this base plate is very secure and really well made itself. It's made of machined aluminum, as you can hear. So again, a very solid design and something I would place a lot of confidence in in terms of being able to hold the camera. Now, another fun fact that you're going to see along the bottom of the base plate here is the fact that you actually have a small anchor point here that will fit Peak Design's main sort of strap anchors and loops. So if you have something like Peak Design slide or slide light straps, which I've done a separate video on this channel that I will leave a link to above and in the description below that you can check out, you could easily attach this or at least one of those mounting points to the base plate, attach the other one to the free strap loop that you probably still have. And so yes, you can use something like the micro clutch with other peak design camera straps and accessories and that makes it a really well engineered and smartly designed product. Now the micro clutch comes in a nice little box design as you can see right here and among the main things it includes are a set of instructions that should allow you to quickly set this up. Two different quarter 20 mounts with sort of a short or long fastener design depending on what your camera would use. As I mentioned before a separate strap loop or eye ring design that if you need it will accommodate the micro clutch if your cameras doesn't for whatever reason. And it also comes with one of Peak Design's main mounting plates, which will accommodate many of their tripod models or an Arca Swiss style mount as well. So when all is said and done, what do I think of the micro clutch? I think this is a great little hand strap that works really well with all different types of mirrorless camera setups. If you're looking for a more generic hand strap design, I would still say something like the original clutch might fit the bill, but I would say I've really come to appreciate sort of the flexibility that you get with sort of a miniature hand strap here and being able to keep your hands and fingers more free and accessible to use different parts of the camera. And it is ultimately for that reason that I think the micro clutch is going to be a great option for a lot of people looking for the flexibility and comfort of a regular hand strap for their camera, but having something that's a little more flexible and lower profile compared to what's generally out there. So that is my take on the Peak Design micro clutch. Hopefully this video has been of some help to you. Feel free to leave a like and subscribe if it has. A lot more to talk about regarding camera accessories on this channel, so certainly stay tuned for that. For now, that is all I have to say. So thanks for watching.